Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. See, my intention is all PLC students, means Pavitra Laptop Care student, should work technically because they are becoming a technician. Okay, becoming a technician because they have to work technically. That is my intention. So that's the reason I already explained regarding the voltage, current, I mean current, resistance, and Ohm's law, numbering system, and so on, circuits. See. there is a reason behind to this uh, explanation i can uh, teach them directly through the motherboard but i am not doing those things first basic information i am providing to them i mean you people okay this information is very very important if you know this information then only you are able to do the chip level service of motherboard laptop motherboard okay that is the reason i am explaining all the things now even if we take the motherboard also so there will be a logic see in previous classes i explained a motherboard contains multiple coils right here it's a 20 volts negative positive here each coil this is a battery coil Maybe 2.4 or something, 3 volts, 5 volts, some core volts, graphic volts, and 1.3 volts. Okay, like this, the particular voltage will produce, and it gives the voltage to controller or processor. Okay, according to this, this particular motherboard will work, and it will be um, processor will be ready, and it accepts the input and gives the output. but now in today class i am going to explain you how each coil will produce the voltage particular voltage 3 5 1.35 any idea okay if you no idea if you don't have any idea please watch this video you can easily understand hmm? see in v in section first i will take in v in section there will be a mosfet assume it's n channel okay in n channel there will be a four leg here also four leg just it will be 1 2 3 1 be source here okay here is the number 4 it's a gate and here is the Drain. Five, six, seven, eight. This is n channel, right? Okay. For n channel, if we give the voltage to the gate, then from drain to source, supply will come, right? This V in will passes through this channel, and here it will become P two or P one, whatever. and again one more n channel will be there it passes from ear to ear then it will become p2 and then through the clr it will become b plus okay this is the concept of voltage v in section if you check in cro cro or dso you will get direct current see this is 20 volts or 19 volts whatever it may be here you will get direct current 20 volts dc right then this 20 volts dc a particular coil how it will generate 
थ्री वोल्ट्स और फाइव वोल्ट्स और इन अदर वोल्ट्स नो नो ओके टुडे क्लियरली आई टेल यू हाउ इट विल जनरेट ओके सी इन एनी कॉल सेक्शन एनी कॉल सेक्शन दिस द आउटपुट ओके If you look behind to this coil, there will be a number one in channel MOSFET. Here also number one in channel MOSFET. I mean number two. Okay. Here, I told you this in channel drain five, six, seven, eight drain will be connected to twenty volts. It accepts twenty volts, and here one, two, three. It's a source. Source. Okay, and here is the gate. One, two, three. Generally, I'm telling, not exactly. Okay, this is number four. This is the source. Will be connected to this coil. And next drain of this particular coil, five, six, seven, eight, is connected to other end channel MOSFET. And here is the source. One, two, three. The source will be connected to the ground. Okay, and here is the gate. Here is the gate. See, as per this, as per this, here this coil voltage will get like this. If you give the gate voltage, this. appropriate gate voltage then this voltage will passes through here and you will get this voltage but if you get the 20 voltage where you will get 3 voltage or 5 voltage or whatever how see this if you understand this logic then you come to know all coil voltage how it will produce in simple step i am going to tell you see Technically, you have to understand. Okay, once again, I am telling you, this is applicable only for PLC students. Okay, technically, you have to think. This MOSFET receives input through or from the train, and if it receives the gate voltage, then this voltage from train to source will pass, right? Okay, if it pass, then it will give this particular graph. understood but this drain has given to sorry this source has given to the other in channel mosfet and that source has given to the ground okay if we connect these two in channel mosfet one by one okay this source goes to the input of this drain and this source goes to the input of i mean source goes to the ground then the procedure what it will be that you have to think okay first this is the gate this particular graph is depends on this particular gate voltages this we can call it's a high drive this we can call it's a low drive voltages this high drive is a first mosfet upper mosfet this we can called as a upper mosfet this we can called as a lower mosfet okay lower mosfet if if we give the voltage to this particular upper drive okay then it will start conduct but how much voltage has to come here that depends on this particular gate for example i won't tell you the gate okay directly on particular voltage x y z that particular voltage is x okay if you give particular voltage to the gate then a uh, particular voltage will pass through the uh, pass through the source and it goes to the coil okay then here in case this gate will be off condition right if there is no voltage then it will be off condition it won't active in that case this particular gate will be active and when we 
provide the gate voltage here then this particular voltage passes through this drain to source okay drain to source it depends on this gate voltage that will become ground means directly it will come down zero you know the logic zero and one okay on particular level it reaches and it immediately it comes to down there will be time delay okay there will be time delay and again if we cut off this voltage and we give the voltage to the upper gate then again particular voltage will go particular level okay and again up to particular one time delay it will be in on condition and again it will be off condition if one is on we'll get the high low uh, high uh, what is that graph and when we give the voltage to this again it will get off and again it will become zero and again high and low high and low this logic we goes within a second within a second many frequency we will get actually this is called a frequency this is pulsated frequency this is called pulse pulsated frequency will generate through these two n channel mosfet okay through this n channel mosfet this gate voltage see this is very very important point how you will get this graph it depends on this gate voltages because in that using that gate only this upper mosfet sometimes will be on and sometimes will be off condition okay make it low this lower mosfet will be active and it makes zero off okay see this high drive and low drive will comes from particular ic's okay this ic will decide what voltage it has to give it may be pulse or particular voltage this ic will decide this is called synchronous ic synchronous ic synchronous in the sense it, it generates digital pulse according to this pulse this ic will be on or off on off on off function will work okay using this ic on off function will start through the mosfet and it gives the output appropriate output we will get here okay so for example here if any one mosfet is off i mean it's off if we are using only one then we will get it direct dc okay in generally i am telling here pulsated dc we will get through the feedback through the feedback again it goes here and this particular dc voltage we will get in the output of this coil straight voltage up to here on pulsated dc will go and after this feedback again it will go here means maybe sometimes here like this and it will be like this okay the voltage pulsated voltage we will get input of this coil pulsated voltage in output pure dc we will get okay the output of this coil will decide this particular ic now you got my point how this particular coil will generate the voltage see if i go to battery section here output section will be 2.4 or something depends on the battery ic if i go to 3 volt section 3.3 volt section if i put 3.3 ic then the output will be 3.3 voltage to dc here pulsated dc if you check in multimeter you will get 3.3 voltage here uh, if you check in cro some pulse you will get here input of this coil you will get pulse and output pure dc always we need to check output voltage not input voltage 
okay see this is the one condition one coil this is the second coil and third coil 5 volts ram coil 1.35 volts these all vary depends on this high drive and low drive what voltage gate voltages understood my point this is first class so in simple manner in you can understand in future in deeply i will tell each and every sections okay in next class i will explain this battery section how it will work this is basic knowledge you must understand you must understand keep it in your mind these two mosfets will act as a particular voltage coil voltages okay this is the logic behind to the motherboard voltage section voltage coil section now i hope you can understand this uh, portion how the coil voltage will generate different different coil voltage will generate it won't generate to 20 volts or 19 volts instead of 19 or 20 volts it generates particular voltages okay that's it in future class will be little tough so uh, because of that i am going to uh, simplify these particular sections okay thank you thank you very much